Welcome friends, in this video we will be looking at how to design the BT trans genes and for any kind of genes we must know there are two regions one is the promoter sequence which regulates uh, the synthesis or transcription of uh, the mRNA and then production of proteins and uh, the second is uh, the gene of our desire so we need to select uh, the different gene of our desire and we need to change the promoter to study uh, to, to actually incorporate our desired interest in the plant cell. Now uh, uh, the first uh, uh, question, our assignment is to design a transgene for a corn plant that will allow the plant to kill European corn borer larva only when they feed on the plant's green tissue. Now we need to use the correct set of genes. Now the first gene, we are having three different genes. The first gene we are having is cloned from the cauliflower mosaic virus. This gene is exposed in all plant tissues and encodes the 35S ribosome that the virus need to replicate in the plant tissues. Gene number 2 was cloned from a Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria and encodes the protein the bacteria uses to kill some caterpillars such as European corn borer larva. The gene number 3 was cloned from a corn plant. The gene encodes a protein that plant needs for the photosynthesis and the gene is only exposed in the green tissue that has active photosynthesis. So we need to select two regions. One is one gene for the transgenic promoter, another gene is for the transgene code region. We need to code uh, the toxic corn uh, toxic material which is uh, which is dangerous for the corn borer larva. So we must take this one as the transgene coding region and we need to select a promoter so what will be the promoter in this case uh, so the 35s promoter is non-specific we don't need that and bacterial promoter is not also needed so now another uh, situation is uh, that we need to express this only when there is a higher amount of photosynthesis so you must take the promoter from this green tissue specific promoter and that's how we can make this transgene possible then the back cross will be done and insertion of this DNA inside the plant then the back cross and finally we can get the desired transgene now let's move on this is the question number two our assignment is to design a transgene for a corn plant that will allow the plant to kill European corn borer larva when they feed on the tissue on any kind of tissue in the plant now we need to use the correct combination again we are having three genes the gene number one is cloned from the cauliflower mosaic virus. The gene is exposed in all tissues and encodes the 35S ribosome that the virus needs to replicate inside the plant tissue. The gene number two was cloned from the Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria and encodes a protein the bacteria uses to kill some caterpillars such as European corn borer larva. And gene number three was cloned from a corn plant. The gene encodes a protein that plant needs for the photosynthesis and the gene is only expressed in green tissue that have the active photosynthesis so we are having the same situations like the previous case so again we need to pro produce that talk that protein which is toxic to the European corn border so you must take this transgene coding region and as in this case we do not need to express this protein only in the presence of photosynthesis we need to express it all the time so you must take uh, the 35S which is a non-specific promoter that's how we can make this again we've done it now when this transgene was in inserted into the corn it is called um, MON810 yield guard this is a gene which is previously produced it was also inserted in another event called the BT11 yield guard okay now let's move on to the third kind of assignment in this assignment we need to design a transgene for a corn plant that will allow the plant to kill western corn rootworm larva uh, when they feed on the plant root tissue now you, we have to use the correct set of genes again we are having three genes gene number one was cloned from uh, a strain of BT that encodes a protein toxic to the western corn root larva Gene number 2 was coded uh, from a Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria and encodes a protein the bacteria uses to kill some caterpillars such as European corn borer larva. And the gene number 3 is cloned from a cauliflower mosaic virus. The gene is expressed in all plant tissues and encodes the 35S ribosomes that a virus need to replicate in the plant tissues. The promoter has been modified to access at a higher level. 
Now in this case we need to express the toxic material for the corn rootworm but not the European corn borer larva. So you must take this CRYBB coding region as a transgene coding region of our interest. Now we need to have a huge uh, production of this uh, product that's why we must take the modified 35 as promoter but it is non-specific and that's how we can make it okay now here this transgene uh, allow the plant to make the western corn root bowler toxin is not tissue in root tissue this insertion of this transgene in corn was called the event MON 863 now let's move on to the last and the fourth type of assignment. In this assignment we need to design a transgene for a corn plant that will allow the plant to kill European corn borer or ECB. So we need to kill ECB, southwestern corn borer SWCB and black cutworm or BCW. So we need to have a multiple uh, activity here and also the fall army worm. So we need to have a multiple resistance against these worms that we need to use the correct order. First gene he was cloned from the Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria and encodes the protein that the bacteria uses to kill the European corn borer larva. The second gene was cloned from corn. This gene is expro expressed in this all cells, the corn plants and encodes a protein called ubiquitin. And the third was the clone from the strain of Bt bacteria. The gene encodes the protein that is toxic to European corn borer, southwestern corn borer, black cutworm, and fall arm worm. So we must take uh, the region from this gene, or the coding region, or the transgene coding region from this gene, because the material will be coded from here will be toxic for all these four type of worms. So we must take this one. Now we need to select the promoter. Now we are having one bacterial normal promoter which is bacteria specific. We have a second uh, promoter which is non-specific and, uh, and the third one is again the bacterial promoter. So if we take a bacterial non-specific promoter it will do the job for us because we do not need any other type of promoter sequence. Uh, but it is not working so anyway so uh, we must take another promoter which can produce uh, which can give us uh, sorry actually uh, is my mistake uh, in the previous case we've seen this gene 2 is containing the promoter which is for the ubiquitin protein coding region so we must take this one as we take this one it can produce this ubiquitin and along with that it produce and uh, all this transgene coding uh, proteins with all these proteins and ubiquitination pathway they can kill all the four types of worms we have designed the transgene that will all corn plants to kill the ECB, BCW, SWCB and FAW corn pests. This is called the Herculex event. That's end and I hope it will help you. Thank you.